Hello everybody, welcome back to another international taste test. Today we are eating snacks and treats from USA. <laughs> big big thank you to Carrie and Alex for sending us these treats from Maryland. There's so much wonderful food here, we cannot wait to dig in. Let's get started. The first one is beer. <laughs> thank you very much. Do you know that for the past six, seven months, we always start our international food reviews with beer? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The first one, first beer is named National Bohemian Beer. Uh -huh. They said it's a very iconic beer in Maryland. Mm -hmm. This mascot is very famous. Yes, his name is Mr. Bo. Okay, okay. let's open. Yes, we shall. Mm. Beautiful color. Yeah, mm. I bet you're looking forward to this. Your first drink for the day. After coffee. Yeah, after coffee. <laughs> you always drink coffee first thing in the morning, and then for lunch you have a beer. Cheers, yeah. everybody! Cheers! Come bye! bye, -bye. <sighs> that is mm. refreshing. Refreshing and very clear beer, clear mm -hmm. taste. Yeah, mm. yeah, very pure. Mm. Pure. Mm. I understand. This is very popular in Maryland. Why? This is. Very easy to drink. This is a light beer, refreshing, crisp, and clean taste. Mm, I totally agree. Okay, so the next one is from Snyder's of Hanover. These are honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces. These are flavored sourdough hard pretzel pieces. And I think... Sounds yummy. And I think, because I know what this tastes like. I had these before. I think you're going to love these and they're going to go so well mm -hmm. with the beer. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, the first taste is honey sweetness. Mm -hmm. I get mustard first. Mustard and onion cream. <laughs> <laughs> onion, one of Satoshi's favorite flavor. And really crispy. Mm -hmm. So it's the best partner of beer. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's so good. The next one is beer partner again. UTZ Kettle Classic Chesapeake Bay. Crab chips. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Mm. I wonder if it's pronounced U T Z or Uts. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. We we never know. <laughs> crab chips, yeah. Crab. Wow. I love crab. Me too. So do I. These are kettle chips, or these are the good ones. And and they wrote that these aren't meant to taste like crab. They're just seasoned with the seasoning they use on crabs. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Very crunchy. And. I can taste the paprika. Mm, mm, mm. I can taste like onion and maybe celery. Mm, mm, celery. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. I love this. This is so good. Especially mm. since we had nothing to eat today. I'm having a happy time. You're having a happy time? These are the perfect chips. They're crispy. They're savory. They have a very, very unique, complex spice taste. I just love this. This hits all the right spots for me. The next one looks also yummy. My favorite type. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from Hairs. This is Old Bay seasoned cheese curls. Cheese curls. Right. So these are cheese curls, but um, these are oven baked with real cheese. You know, I find it so interesting. It's the same as in Japan as well, but in every region you go to, they have their own unique cuisine and taste. That's what makes traveling so interesting for me. Ooh, it's it's red. Is it spicy? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they do kind of look like spicy mm. corn buffs. Mm. Takimasu. Oh. <laughs> it's not spicy. Mm. Mm. It has a crunch mm -hmm. and tastes like I can taste some kind of spice. Yes. Paprika, all the way season. Mm -hmm. Some sweet taste mm -hmm. and um, some sweet taste and at the same time it's savory. Mm -hmm. And also it's super cheesy. Oh my god, I can't mm. stop eating. Mm. Alright, let me close this package up so we can continue on to the next one. The next one is salsa. Salsa! It's Grohl's Market Signature Blue Crab Salsa. Mm -hmm. Well, she says that the Grohl's is their local grocery store and they discovered this salsa a few years ago. And she says there's not too much crab, but the flavor is the, the crab flavor is very subtle but it's there and it makes a very unique mm. salsa. Mm. And she also sent us a big bag of tortilla chips to go along with it. So here you go. I'm like so looking forward to this. I mean, look how chunky this is. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. 
I found the crab taste. Yep, the crab taste is there, definitely. Mm. And it has a kick to it. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah. I gotta have another bite because it's that good. <laughs> it's very good. Mm -hmm. That's so spicy. And I can taste mm. some kind of mm -hmm. chili mm -hmm. and crab taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That crab taste, I think, is just right. Mm. I don't think you need any more crab. Mm. I like the tomatoes, I like the bell peppers in it. I also like taste a little bit of lime in here. There are different flavor components in here that make it interesting and really delicious. The next one is Cinco Tig Vegetable Red Crab Soup. Cinco Tig is an island off of the Maryland and Virginia coast. And it says on the notes that there are two common types of crab soup made in Maryland, cream of crab soup, and Maryland crab soup, mm -hmm. which is tomato and beef broth based with lots Ooh. of vegetables. And this is that one. This is a can of ready to serve soup. Just heat it up and serve. And I don't know, it just it just looks amazing to me. Already, as soon as I open the can, I can smell the crab. Yes. And look, I mean, it's so chunky with so much vegetables in here. I see yeah. green beans, potatoes, peas. I see some like beans in here as well, and corn. Oh. Mm. Mm. Very nice crab taste though. Mm. This tastes so homemade. Mm. It is like homemade mm. soup to me. Mm. Mm. It feels like I'm drinking a juice from the crab. <laughs> True, with um, mm. seasonings and vegetables. Mm. You know, if they serve this mm. at a restaurant that I could go to all the time, I'd probably order this all the time. That's a good soup. Mm. Good soup. Alright, next is Fisher's popcorn. When Marylanders go to the beach, they're usually going to Ocean City, which is an island right next to Cinco Teague. Mm. There's a boardwalk there that's legendary. One of the things that people always remember is the Fisher's popcorn that's sold at the boardwalks. Fisher's popcorn. Mm -hmm. hey. And they started shipping the stuff to grocery stores, and, and now you can buy it from grocery stores. Oh! Mm. Mm. Mmm, that mm. smooth mm. texture mm. and yeah. that buttery glaze. Mm. Mm. Nice caramel coated. Mm. Mm. And you know, it's not hard. You know, like a lot of caramel corn has a hard shell. It's very soft and smooth and buttery and creamy. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness. And you know, it says they have other flavors. They have um, kettle corn, they have white cheddar, they even have caramel popcorn dusted with crab spice. Mm. Mm. Now I want to try all of them. The next one. Otabine's sugar cookie since 1881 and it's established by German immigrant. Yeah, that's so interesting. And supposedly their cookies are still made with the same recipe from same way recipe. back then. Wow. Oh, oh. Big heart shape. Heart shape cookies. Yeah, they're very thin. Mm -hmm. And they look kind of homemade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? They do. So these are sugar cookies, a local favorite tasting a bit of history. Mm. 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 Oh, I like this. It's very mm. rustic and very homemade taste. Mm. For me, it's a hard type of Japanese sabre, sabre, sabre. cookie. <laughs> sabre cookie. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, you can tell this is not mass produced. It doesn't have that mass mm. produced mm. taste or even look and feel mm. and that's what i like about it like i wouldn't be surprised if like my grandmother made this although my grandmother never really cooked so we come to the last thing on the menu today these are burger cookies not hamburger because i know you're thinking that it's another baltimore classic it's a very cake-like cookie smothered in fudge icing when, when when this package arrived this was like the first thing that i wanted to dig into because they look so good and if you uh, break it into two it looks like a black and white cookie. Oh, yeah. chocolate and regular cookie. Yeah. This is like the fudgiest cookie that I've ever had in my life. Mmm. Wow, so dense. Mm hmm. Mm. It reminds me of like the texture and the taste of brownie. Mm. So somewhere between brownie and fudge. Mm. Mm. And then the cookie on the bottom, I almost don't notice it because the top is so fudgy. Well, Kara and Alex says that these cookies are amazing. Mm. I believe you and I agree with you. <laughs> These are amazing. Now we got a few more things to share with you guys, but we're not going to be reviewing them today. We're going to be reviewing the two more items that Karen and Alex sent us over on this weekend's live stream 1 p.m. on Sunday Japan time. So if you can join us, it would be great to see you there. They also sent us a seasoning 
called J.O. Made in Maryland. It says that this is good on a lot of things. So we're going to be trying it out over on this, this weekend's live stream as well as some teas they sent us. Capital teas. I was actually planning to do it today but I opened them up and they were so beautiful. The selections they sent us wild me just with the just with the smell then i decided to do a proper tea tasting session for, for i'm going to be saving that for the live stream and thank you so much for getting justin something as well this is toy for justin <laughs> it, the shape is crab yes it is <laughs> yes and um yeah oh there we go he's already reacting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they sent us a picture of their cute little dog lila and she has one just like it and so we're gonna give Justin his toy and see how he likes the toy I'm pretty sure he's gonna like it so Satoshi you know I gotta be honest with you guys I liked everything me too every single item that we tried today I liked all of them pretty much equally for the savory I'm gonna choose the soup, the red crab soup. I want more. Me too. I want more. Me too. <laughs> I choose this one too. You choose that one? That was amazing, wasn't mm. it? And for the sweet one, I'm choosing the burger oh, cookies, the, the cookies. fudgy cookies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once again, mind blown. I choose this popcorn. Oh yeah, that was good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. This caramel tastes really nice. Once again, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts, Karen and Alex, for sending us these delicious snacks and treats for us to sample. We really appreciate it and we had such a great time trying them out. We're going to be reviewing your teas and the seasoning over on the live stream this weekend, once again at 1 p.m. Japan time on Sunday. Hope the rest of you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out all our other international tastes by clicking on there. We have a huge playlist for that. And if it's your first time, please subscribe. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye-bye.